Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with 17 reasons why I love Libby and Melvin. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Let's see what we got. This is a video about all the things that I love about living in Melbourne. If you're interested, keep watching. What I love about living in Melbourne is the fact that you have so many different landscapes and things to do. Now, for example, I'm in the snow and this is only a three hour trip, a three hour drive from Melbourne city. I'm here in Mount Buffalo, an amazing national park where you can enjoy amazing views of Bright and Dang. the Alpine region of Victoria. That view is absolutely gorgeous. That view is breathtaking. One thing I will say, I do not do snow. I don't like cold weather. But that view right there is incredible. Where you can enjoy amazing views of Bright and the Alpine region of Victoria. Wow. And what you can do here in the snow as well, you can go skiing, snowboarding, or you can do toboggans, which is an amazing, super fun activity to come with your kids or family, even adults as well. It's super, super fun. <laughs> Oh no, they, they, they do look like they're having a blast. I don't do snow, but I might try it. I may try it. I, mean, I may try it. I may be willing to try some snow activities. Uh, see how it goes. See how it goes. Just have a hot tub ready for me. We've been adults as well. It's super, super fun. Another thing that I love about Melbourne is the fact that you have so much nature. So much nature all around Victoria and it's such an amazing place to visit. Melbourne is also Australia's cultural capital and that's one of my favorite things about this city. And the amount of exhibitions that Melbourne has to offer. You have to come to the ACME, to the NGV, to the Melbourne Museum. There are so many amazing exhibitions to visit and explore and yeah, it's an amazing town for everything that's related to culture and I highly recommend coming here. So freaking dope. And apart from museums and exhibitions, we have so many amazing big international events such as Australian Open, food images, the cricket. There's so much entertainment in this city. We know Ozzy's love their sports. We know if it's one thing Ozzy's love, it's their sports. It's their cricket. It's their Australian Open. It's our tennis, I believe. It's their Aussie football. It's their rugby. It's, you know what I'm saying? They love it all. The cricket, there's so much entertainment in this city. Bas basketball too, basketball too. Apart from international events and museums and exhibitions, Melbourne is well known for street art. Oh, wow. You'll find dedicated graffiti lanes where artists awesome. go and perform amazing artwork. You can also get lost around the city and appreciate the amazing paintings, yeah. and street art, and buildings, oh hidden oh lane ways all around. It's so beautiful. Bro, nah, this artwork is top tier, gorgeous, great. Bro! That artwork was phenomenal, bro. It was absolutely incredible. Shout out to all the artists in, over there in Australia doing the graffiti, doing the street art, man. Bro, that was so dope. Melbourne also has some of the most beautiful parks I've seen in my life. And that's something that I really, really like about here. And a thing related to these beautiful, beautiful parks is that Everything is so green and you're going to find these parks almost in every suburb here in Melbourne. People here come for picnics or for a quick walk as well to do some exercise, come for a run. So it's an amazing characteristic of this beautiful city. Okay, now I'm going to go back home and I'll see you there. Speaking of parks and nature, if you love outdoor activities, Melbourne is amazing for that. You can go hiking, camping, rock climbing, paragliding, 
and even sailing in beautiful places. There are activities for absolutely everyone. Another thing that I love about Melbourne is that it has a beautiful coastline all these ways. From Mornington Peninsula to the Great Ocean Road and Wilson's Brum, these places are perfect if you like going for a surf, paddle boarding, kite surfing, or yeah, just chilling by the water. Oh, wow. There are so many different activities. Yo! Yo, bro! Take me doing stuff that I can't even imagine doing, bro. Like that, that kite surfing, I know we probably got it here in America. But I don't know. That's just so freaking dope. That's so. I never even thought about kite surfing, bro. Because I can't. I can't surf. I can't surf. So I never even thought about it. There's so many different activities. And speaking of activities, one of the main things that Melbournians love to do here is to go to wineries. The most famous ones being in the Yarra Valley and Mornington Peninsula. And this is something that I love about living here. Another thing that I love about Melbourne is its amazing architecture. When I first came to Melbourne, I was surprised to find how European the city is. Most of the buildings, especially in the city, are highly influenced by European architecture. And if you live in the suburbs, you'll also find Victorian style houses. These houses go back to the 1800s and actually you can't tear them down or you can't build on top of them. They are considered heritage listed. And in the mix of this European architecture, you'll also find astonishing high rise buildings. Melbourne's buildings have a very eccentric kind of design. They're beautiful to look at. Although I know some of the locals are not big fans of that. Another thing that I love about Melbourne is how multicultural it is. And this is something that I've said in all of my videos, but yeah, it's something that I love about here. Melbourne is one of the most multicultural cities I've been to. You can find amazing food from all over the world, which is an amazing cultural experience that really opens your mind. And speaking of amazing experiences, if you get to come to Melbourne, please try the coffee. It's one of the best coffees in the world, in my See, I feel like, God, I might actually like coffee over there in Australia. I don't like it here. But the, the, the way everybody be talking about this coffee, I might actually just give it a shot once I go over there, because I am going to come. I might give it a shot and just see, see how I feel about it. it might, I might end up liking it. Please try the coffee. It's one of the best coffees in the world, in my personal opinion. I know this is controversial. Another thing that I love about Melbourne, especially the city, is that it's beautiful and super lively at night. And I think this is because there are events happening all year round, so you can never really get tired of this. If you get to go to the city and walk around Melbourne CBD, you'll also find hidden runways with some of the coolest bars, cafes and restaurants I've been to. Melbourne is also known as the fashion capital of Australia. And even though I'm not into fashion, I do appreciate that the shopping experience is like no other. You can shop at a huge shopping centre, some major department stores like Meijer, or at Burke Street Mall, or at beautiful Royal Arcade, or even a really cool second-hand fashion boutiques in suburbs like Victoria. Really, the shopping experience won't disappoint. Another thing that I love about Melbourne is the education. Melbourne is home to some of the best universities here in Australia, including the University of Melbourne. And it's also one of the best cities in the world for international students. And this is not only because the education is of very high quality, but also because of all the activities this city has to offer. And if you're an international student, I highly recommend going to the State Library of Victoria. This is opposite Melbourne Central. It's one of the most beautiful libraries I've seen in Australia. Oh, wow. That is an absolutely gorgeous library, for real, for real. Jesus. Yeah, it's not like too like modernized, but I don't know, it just gives off a nice vibe, like a dope vibe. Huh. Another 
another great thing about Melbourne is its people. I find that people here in Melbourne tend to be very cultured and highly educated and very, very conscious and aware of major global issues such as climate change, sustainability, gender equality. I also find that people here tend to be non-judgmental, which is something that I really appreciate. You can wear whatever you want and no one really cares. And because the city is also very multicultural, I find that Melbournians are very open-minded and inclusive. Of course, there are always exceptions. So these are all the reasons why I love living in Melbourne. It has all the characteristics of a huge city, but in a relatively small place. It's super clean, friendly, and the quality of life here is amazing. And many of you have been asking me to make videos comparing cities, etc. So that's something that I'll be working on as well in the coming months. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe to keep supporting the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Definitely enjoyed, man. That's all we got for this. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Uh, definitely want to visit Melbourne at some point. It's really cool. It's your boy Dina out.